Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Toby's hopping back on the couch. Again. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am sharing with you all my September beauty favorites. I literally cannot believe that it is October. I do not have a ton of products to share with you all. There are some reviews that I am working on, so you may see those products in future videos. Um, but for now, this is all I have, so I will try my best to explain as much as I can about each product and how I use them. To begin, I do have the Murad Daily Clarifying Peel, which looks like this. I did begin my test of this uh, towards the start of uh, September and I have been using this product since. My favorite way to use this is with the clarifying oil-free water gel also by Mirad. This is especially good for those dealing with congestion, acne, breakouts. Um, you can still use this if you have normal skin like I do. However, you may want to scale it back to not using this nightly as it definitely can be used nightly. Um, but you know, just watch your skin, make sure it's not too tight, not too dry, not flaking. And if so, you can, you know, continue use to nightly use. I did recently do a review on this product, so I will be sure to link it down up above in case you missed it. My favorite way to use this is at night. Like I mentioned earlier, I do try to stick to using it at least twice a week. Um, and I do love using it with my disposable cotton rounds. A few of my favorite things about this is that it is lazy skincare night friendly. So if I'm having a rough day, if I'm feeling tired, all I have to do is cleanse, tone, peel and moisturize and we are good to go. I love that this has also kept my breakouts at bay. I do have normal skin that is prone to hormonal breakouts and I have not experienced any hormonal breakouts. You should note however that I have also been kind of watching what I eat a lot more. I have minimized my consumption of or kind of eliminated my consumption of red meat and chicken. Um, I've also minimized my dairy intake, so that may also have a lot to do with how well my skin has been doing recently. So this has been a favorite. Love pairing it with this twice a week. Another product that I have been loving is the Jones Road Eye Cream. Now, this I do not use every day, but I do use it every morning that I do not use my hydrogel eye patches, which I am still using and I'm still loving. I do still try to alternate between these two um, at least three times a week, sometimes just two. But I have been loving this formula. It is so lightweight. It's kind of like a gel based cream. Not sure if I talked about this. I think I talked about this in my unpack with me video. I'll link it up above if, if that's where I mention it. But this is such a nice eye cream for daytime use. It's so lightweight and it just gives the skin such a healthy radiant kind of a revitalized appearance that is perfect for the eyes. Um, I do like to just work it right underneath the eye on the orbital bone. I love that it does not affect the um, wear time or the appearance of my concealer throughout the day. It does not make my under eye area look or feel greasy or too oily. Um, it just looks really, really nice. I know that sometimes some eye creams can be just a little much and it can affect the performance of the concealer and this eye cream has done neither. It also has not further congested or caused any milia here around the eye. 
Definitely my favorite time to use this recently has been during the day. And I have been wearing a lot of makeup. Um, even on my days off recently, I do not think that I have gone a day without wearing makeup. And I just love reaching for this. It's not sticky at all. There's like no scent to this either. And I do think that it is clean beauty. So if you're looking for just a very basic makeup concealer friendly eye cream that will kind of revitalize and hydrate the eye area without making it look too oily or it affecting the performance of your concealer, I would consider this. For lips, um, this is what I have been reaching for a ton morning and evening. This is the Paula's Choice Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Lip Booster with Squalane. My favorite thing about this is definitely the applicator. So it is um, got a bit of a cooling sensation. And let me show you the actual lip formula here. You can barely even tell, but that is what she looks like. Um, I'm not wearing this now on the lips, but what I do like about it is that it is a lightweight, non-sticky formula. Um, and I just like wearing this right before bed. And sometimes this will just be the gloss that I wear um, to work. I still wear my mask at work. We are uh, definitely mask friendly at work. So sometimes people, I mean, people just don't get to see my the rest of my face. So they can only see this much. So I'll just apply a very simple kind of gloss such as this one. What I have noticed from using this is just a smoother, hydrated, moisturized lip. I can't say that it has, for example, really plumped and made my lips not have any lines. I feel like it's just a very great hydrating lip product. So um, it's not sticky at all. I'm going to try to like zoom in. It's not sticky at all. Absolutely love this stuff. I feel like it's more like a gloss than a balm as the uh, Butter Balm by Summer Fridays, which has been a favorite for the entire year. Um, if you like something that's a little bit lighter in weight than that, I would recommend this. Curious to see how this will do when uh, it gets windy here, uh, like October, November-ish. So I'll try to keep you all posted, but so far I love this. My favorite thing about this is the applicator. Absolutely, it has that little bit of a cooling sensation. For makeup, I do just have one thing, and this was a recent purchase. Um, as you can tell, I, well actually, let me start here. So as you can tell, my hair is a little bit darker. So I binge watched the first season in like two days and I absolutely fell in love with Meredith and Lisa's brown hair. I'm like, oh, I love their brown hair. Not even Kyle Richards from uh, Beverly Hills Housewives, which, I feel like I've always had a connection with Kyle Richards. I'm not sure why. I just could not stop obsessing over Meredith and Lisa's brown hair. So much so that before I even finished the first season, I was on the Sephora app and I was like, okay, I've got to get a color conditioning treatment ASAP. So I drove down to not my nearest, a local Sephora but one that was a little bit further and I got the Moroccan oil color depositing mask in cocoa. This is for light brown to dark brown hair. Um, as you know however I do have some highlights throughout my hair and some of them are now just kind of like peeking through here such as this little guy over here but my hair has been this color for about two weeks now. 
should keep in mind, however, that I do not wash my hair every day. I wash my hair twice a week max. I did notice, however, that this kind of transferred onto my smock at work. It is white, but it kind of washed off a little bit. Um, my pillowcases, they are gray, so I did not notice any color transfer, but I have noticed that the color is like very slowly kind of fading away. I did do um, a color depositing video last year when quarantine first started and I did try the rose gold. Now that color was, you know, just kind of experimenting here. You know, we were bored at home and not working. Was it my absolute favorite? No. Is this my absolute favorite? I think so. As you all know, I'm having like an obsession with the Moroccan oil scent and this made my hair smell so, so good. So, so delicious. And it also, you know, hydrated it, made it look and feel healthy. And I just love how rich this color looks. This is highly, highly recommended. Still loving the brown and still a blonde or with highlights, I will still kind of throw this in the mix to condition the skin and give me a different look for a little bit. Since I, you know, color conditioned my hair, I also had to pick up some brow pomade that would match my current hair color. So I picked this one up by Kosas. This is the um, Air Brow fluff and hold treatment gel in brown black and this is giving me the brows of my life on the um kosas brow pop in dark brown but this gives me a bold bold brow as it is without the use of this and this color is just a little bit too light for me currently so I have been using the ColourPop Brow Boss in Ash Brown. Now the color payoff in this is less than this. This is not Clean Beauty and this is. So what I do is I will you know use this on my brows give me some you know, color. Then I'll go in with my, this is disgustingly dirty, the Kosas Air Brow in Clear. Of course, you would not know it's clear because it's dirty AF. So I will apply this and let this product dry for about two to three minutes. Do the rest of my face, perhaps do my mascara. And then I'll go in with this and this is what gives me this brow that I have just been obsessed with. So I'm just loving this brow combo during my little brunette phase. See how long this lasts. Um, so if you want a kind of bolder, bushier, more natural brow, go with this. If you want a bolder, bolder brow with the use of a pencil, go with this. And now for body, we have been revisiting this here. This is the Drunk Elephant Sugared Coffee Almond Milk Scrub. Uh, one day this month, Ruben came to me and he was like, do you have a scrub for the body? And I'm like, do I? So I pulled this out and I totally forgotten about this. This sm smells more like roasted coffee, slightly vanilla. And we have been just using this. I know it's kind of dirty and sticky because it had a sticker over it. Um, but after he uses this, like he smells so good and not like a manly way. He just smells kind of like coffee. <laughs> Um, and I just love that the sugar or the granules here are so big that they do not melt upon application. Like you actually physically like scrub yourself down with this. And what I've noticed is at least on my arms, smoother, more like a glowy kind of natural looking skin. 
I use it primarily on my arms and chest area and on my knees. I use the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Body on the legs a lot more than I do on my upper body. So if you're into body scrubs and you're tired of using body scrubs that just kind of melt upon application or sting, highly recommend this. Let me know what your favorites for the month of September were in the comments down below. That is all I have for you all today. I know it's kind of a very slow on the favorites front at least, but I hope that you all enjoyed today's video. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for spending some time with me today and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel.